What's going on, everybody? Punched out, about to head home. Hopefully, do a live stream with Minnesota Vikings fan and uh, Minnesota Silver Row. I text them to see if they were interested because we talked about it on his show last Tuesday night, late Tuesday night, that is. But on to the subject of this video, which is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And I am disappointed. That three of the bands that were nominated are not going in. Now, this year's inductees include Whitney Houston, Notorious B.I.G., Doobie Brothers, two acts that I uh, respect and admire, Nine Inch Nails and T-Rex. I mean, you got to give them their due. I mean, Basically, Trent Reznor helped bring industrial music to the limelight, to the mainstream, when you think about it. I know that pissed off a lot of hardcore industrialists, you know, enthusiasts who uh, believe that industrial should not be um, in the mainstream at all. Because look at all the other, so many acts that, uh, that follow their style. You know, I guess... Um, me and Joe Cronin uh, discussed that issue on that uh, stream we did um, a couple weeks back, if you remember. And T-Rex, you know, you got to give Mark Bullen his due, you know. Let's look outside of Bang a Gong, Get It On, you know. People know that song like the back of our, their hands, you know. But we also got to talk about Ride a White Swan or Mad Donna or Dandy in the Underworld or Children of the Revolution other songs like that should be included in the, the, the typical listeners playlist other than Bang a Gone Get It On you gotta give nod to those songs as well you know I, I remember I was involved with a lady named Lena who was at that time obsessed with Mark Bullen you know, she was, she had all the Mark Boland paraphernalia where it's posters, albums, out of print merchandise, you know. One album I remember that came out on a label called, it came out on a label titled Blue Thumb Records. It was distributed by ABC Records at that time. It was an album called A Beard of Stars, you know. Back then it was, um, Mark Bolin and percussionist Mickey Finn, who sadly, um, like Bolin, is no longer with us. So we got to get those guys our overhaul due. But the thing that really made me mad, however, was in the list of the nominees were Thin Lizzy, the MC5, and Motorhead. Now I'm a big fan of all three. And it upsets me that these acts are not going to be inducted. And I'm like, what the fuck? I thought they were a sure shot to get in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame there. I mean, Motorhead was loud, fast, British, and furious. Some of that all heavy metal bands at that time were trying to be. Some succeeded, some didn't. I mean, Motorhead had an influence on Metallica, Anthrax, you know. He had some, off, had some fucking awesome songs, like whether it's We Are The Road Crew, Killed By Death, Locomotive, you know. You know, people, when they think of Motorhead, they think of Ace of Spades. Well, put that aside and look towards the other tracks, like uh, Jailbait or, um, or those songs I just mentioned. You know, you gotta look to or towards other songs, you know. My personal favorite is I'm So Bad Baby I Don't Care. Love that song to death. <clears throat> that was the premium motorhead fuck the world attitude right right there. Now the MC five, I cited them as the original Rage Against the Machine. No, the singer Rob Tyner did not rap at that time, but they had a lot of 
political stance in their, some of their songs. One of the most noted was Motor City's Burning, which was about the 1967 Detroit riots. They also were, were one of the bands that played, I guess they were the only band who played the National Democratic Convention in 1968. And uh, basically, that whole scenario erupted to a riot, from what I understand. Now, apparently, they uh, played for about eight hours. Give them credit for just doing that. Most bands be done after a two and a half hours. Be like, fuck, we're done. We got no more songs to play. I don't know how they were able to keep going for eight hours. I don't fucking know. But, dude, give them their absolute due as well. They were one of the most high energy bands out there next to E. Pop and the Stooges and Ted Nugent and the Amboy Dukes. And plus, we got to have, we have to include the Bob Seeger system, not Bob Seeger and the Super Bowl band. Because the Bob Seeger system has some pretty gritty, down and dirty songs as well. So it's sad that the MC5. Are not going to be inducted this year. Hopefully next year. And finally. Thin Lizzy. One of the bands that influenced. You know, Iron Maiden. Judas Priest. Next to UFO and a couple others. Deep Purple. Included. You know. All the emo kids out there. Who listen to Avenged Sevenfold. And dig the. Um guitar and harmonics during their, some of their songs, you know, people ask where they learned that from, they, the band you would usually say, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, who had guitar harmonics on their songs, but who influenced Iron Maiden, Judas Priest to do theirs, one of the bands, then Lizzie, they had a lot of guitar harmonics on a couple of their tracks, like, um, other than the boys are back in town. We also have, you know, songs like um, We Will Be Strong or Sweetheart. Or One Day She's Gonna Hit Back. You also can't forget other tracks like uh, Southbound. That's a good song there. And plus, you know, you got to give it up to um, Phil Lynott. He was the main uh, singer, the bass player, and also um, the main songwriter. He wrote a lot of good stories in his tunes there. You know, the story behind the boys in back of town would probably be remain essential. Because what I remember hearing is about welcoming me back a couple of buddies you know from Vietnam. It's like, oh, boys are back from Vietnam. They're still in one piece. Let's all celebrate. You know? So it saddens me that... And also, by the way, from my understanding, was it Judas Priest himself supposed to be inducted? Other than just being nominated? Come on, people. One of the supreme heavy metal groups of all time next to Black Sabbath and Motorhead. They deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They should have been there a long time ago. Songs like um, Victim of Changes, Breaking the Law, Painkiller, Starbreaker. Those songs, those songs are all-time classics, you know? They should be inducted just as well as the three that I mentioned. I mean, come on. But you know what? That's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for you. Nowadays, they'll just induct anybody. I mean, I don't consider Madonna rock and roll, let alone the notorious B.I.G. You know, give us a break. That's my thoughts for now. I'm going to uh, head home now and um, hopefully we could do a live stream. All right, Minnesota Vikings fans, Silver Roll, be ready. I just texted you a while ago about doing this, all right? 
hit me up, okay? I'm Dr. Earl. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and leave some comments below. Let's rock and roll all night and party every fucking day, people. Yeah. And by the way, it's about time Kiss got nominated as well, you know. I know it's been about a couple years since that happened, but, you know, they were overlooked for how many fucking years, you know. Bye-bye.